Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Screencastify, an extension that allows you to record your screen. Screencastify, you can record up to five minutes per video. It integrates with Google Drive and Google Classroom, and you can also publish it to YouTube. This will help you if you want to record mini lessons, demonstrations, make announcements, uh, anything that you want to share with your colleagues or your class. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is add the Screencastify extension. And to do this, you have to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Screencastify. In this slide presentation, you can also click on this link right here, and it should take you right to the Chrome Web Store and to the Screencastify extension. I already have it on my computer, so it says remove from Chrome. You are going to click um, add to Chrome. Once that happens, uh, a, a window will appear and you can click add extension. However, you can also, on from a school laptop, you'll notice uh, on the bookmark bar right here is this apps. So if you click here, this is how you can also get to the web store. It is right here. You can click and then search Screencastify and then go through the same steps. The icon will appear in the upper right hand corner uh, with the other extensions. So these are the other extensions. This is the Screencastify icon. It looks like an arrow. Notice there's a red dot because I am currently recording. Once you do this, a window will uh, appear and it will ask you to accept their permissions. This is very important. If you do not, if you do, not do this, uh, the microphone and the web camera will not be accessed, which for, your, for sound purposes, uh, when you record, you will not hear any sound. So you wanna make sure that you do accept that. After that, uh, a window or a tab should open and there's a short two question survey uh, you can take that. And then once you're done, you can you can close that tab. And now you're ready to begin. If you're using slides, you may want to click present so it's a large screen such as this. Uh, but remember, you don't have to. You can uh, record anything from a website um, to whatever's on your screen in classroom, uh, whatever you're recording. But if you're recording in slides, you may want to hit present so it's much larger. When you get started, there are a few options to begin your recording. The first option is to go up and click on this. The other option is to use a few keyboard shortcuts. Uh, here are a list of the keyboard shortcuts. However, the start and stop recording, Alt plus Shift plus R, that's the one that you'll use the most. If you do go up to the extensions and click this, this is the screen that you will see. Uh, it will remind you that you have a five minute time limit. Notice the microphone is on. You want to make sure that your microphone is definitely on. And then you have three recording options from which you can choose. And here are a few descriptions. If you want to just use slides or one uh, website, you're not going to move between tabs. The browser tab is fine. If you're going to move between tabs, the desktop uh, option is the best for you. So once you start recording, remember you can go up, you can click the icon, or you can click Alt-Shift-R. Once you do that um, and you select the option that you want, you can either do the application only or the entire screen and then click Share. It will count down and then you can start recording. Once you're done, you can hit Alt Shift R or go up here and click end. To view how you're going to save it and access it later, take a look at the rest of the slides. Thanks for watching.